In this video, I will demonstrate how to train a new font with Tesseract in Google Colab. You will find this link to the Google Colab in the description. First you need to download these three files from Tesseract GetHub page. Make sure the version here is 4.1. Otherwise it might not work. Now download it. We will be training for English here, so we need the best English trained data. Lastly, go to the third link and download Langdata LSTM. Here we need only important file and folder, but there is no option to select individual file in GetHub. So you can download this Chrome extension to enable this feature. Pin it and refresh this page. To train for English, check this ang folder. Also this lat folder, otherwise it might throw error. And these files as well. Now click this button to download these files. Before uploading it to Google Drive, we need to organize it. Extract these two files. Now rename this to only langdata underscore lsdm. If the Tesseract folder is inside Tesseract folder, move this to outside. Now rename this to only Tesseract. Delete these zip files, we do not need this anymore. Copy this ang.train data and put this inside the Tesseract test data folder. Now that we have organized these files. Go to Google Drive and upload these files in root folder.
depending on your internet speed, it will take some time to upload. Now return to the Google Colab. Step 1 Install Tesseract. Wait until it shows connected. Step 2 Create these required folder. Step 3 Upload your font. And move it to the fonts folder. Step 4 Get the font name. You can get the font name by double clicking on the font. In my case it is typo upright bt. Now assign it here. Step 6, add Google Drive. Go to this link, you will get an authorization code. Paste that code and press enter. The drive folder will appear here. Make sure these two folders are inside the directory. Step 6 Change the permission of the Tesseract folder. Step 7 Extract ang.lstm from ang.train data. Step 8 Generate training data. The max number of page here is 10. But you can increase this to get better result. I am keeping it 10 only for tutorial purpose. The train data will be generated inside the train folder. Step 9 Fine Tune Here max iteration is 200 but you can also increase it to get less error rate. I am keeping it 200. 
cause training time will increase with increase with this iteration value. The trained data will appear on this output folder. Here this is the last checkpoint. And the error rate is 7.17. Step 10 get trained data from the last checkpoint. Now download this trained data. Move this trained data to this location inside the Tesseract installation folder. Now rename it to whatever font name you desire. I am renaming it to typo up. Here I have this image with that font. To convert it to the text file you can open git2. But I am here doing it in command prompt. Open command prompt by typing cmd here and press enter. I have this code. Copy it and paste it in command prompt. Change the name of this image file. Give the text file a name. And change the font name to trained font name. In my case it is type hope. Now compare the image with converted text. The error rate was 7.17, 
and this the result but you can decrease the error rate by tweaking the max pages and iteration numbers.